But when you spend money like we are, and the people that are loaning us money, China, some Europe, but when they start saying, you got to quit spending money, then you really ought to listen. And a lot of people don't realize when the Soviet Union, Union was going broke, the research that I've done indicates that they had asked for a hundred billion dollar loan for us to help them get together. And then the uprising began in Eastern Europe. They didn't roll tanks and cross the whole thing like they have in the past. Why didn't they, you think? Well, it appears that we may have moved behind the scenes and said, we'll loan you the hundred billion to uh, bail you out and keep your co country afloat. But we can't if we defend, we roll in tanks against the people. When people are owed money by you, then those people get to tell you how you can defend yourself and when you can't. And we are dangerously in that area now where people control our future. It's got to stop. And, and, and what happens then, if you keep spending money like that, is one of two things. You have to do what Germany did in the 1920s and 30s. You just print so much money to try to pay your debts, create runaway inflation, or, oh, well, and then the consequence of that is that people are willing to elect a brutal little dictator with a mustache just because he's going to bring about economic stability. The other aspect is what happened with the Soviet Union. You finally have to stand up and say, we have spent so much money that nobody will loan us anymore. We are broke, and there's no way we can print enough money to get out of debt. And so we're no longer a country anymore, and all these states that used to be part of the Soviet states, they're on their own. Okay, guys, action item. This is what I want you to do when you leave Washington, D.C. tomorrow. What would you say to them? I'd say you go home, and you make a list of your two senators, your representative, and if they're not doing the right things, then you let them know, if you don't get on track, we've got a year, but I am going to start block walking for your opponent, I'm going to raise money for your opponent, and then don't stop there. You make a list of people around the country in conservative districts who are not doing the right thing. Or even like in California, Barbara Boxer, Harry Reid, people who have been, they've gotten into this thing and leading us the wrong direction. You've got to motivate anybody you know in those states and other districts to do the same thing. Because, again, democracy ensures people are governed no better than they deserve. And if they don't step up and do those things it takes to get the right people in charge, then it breaks my heart, but they'll deserve what they get. It's interesting. President Obama prides himself in being a community organizer. And that's exactly what we're seeing. That's exactly what we've got. You're right. You're right. Yes. But what about if they continue to have town hall meetings with themselves? And they just had, you know, they all got together and said, okay, what can we do? What can we do? We don't need to come standing there to tell us what to do or give us what to do. checking our ideas. Could they continue to meet like this? Absolutely. This yeah. cannot die here. This cannot die here. If it dies here, then at some point somebody's going to have to stand up and do what the Soviet Union did and say, we're broke as a nation. We can't print enough. We can't borrow enough. We're out of business. And this incredible gift that we've been given, I didn't deserve this gift of this country. I didn't. But my kids deserve it more than I do, and we can't deprive them of this chance on our watch. And I don't push my religion on others, but I'm a Christian, and some other Christians there in Congress have said, well, you don't have to worry, God's in control. And I point out, God has been in control when every great nation has fallen. Because though he's merciful and he's patient and he's long-suffering, if a nation is determined to go away from him long enough, eventually he lets them. If people see that part, and the Constitution says, we're endowed by our Creator with certain inalienable rights. They say, see, I'm endowed with this. Well, it's like any inheritance. You only keep it if you're willing to fight to keep your inheritance. 
If I leave, and I don't have much of anything, my wife and I sold it when we went to the house to run for Congress. But if I leave my house to my kids, and they're not willing to do anything to keep it, then evil people will come take it away. It always happens. You have to be willing to fight what you've been endowed with, or you will not keep it. This is a blessing to us. It is such a blessing. That's great. You, you all are frontline warriors up there. You really Thank are. You.